I spoke with Teddy Kevin Davis about the district's role in reshaping the larger Asheville art scene. Well, there's, there's the River Arts District, which is about a mile by a half mile. And there are five separate locations within that district. You have the Riverview, you got Cotton Mill, which is about a mile north of here. Then across the tracks, you have the Wedge, Odyssey, and, and uh, Pink Dog, which are basically clusters of buildings. But you can't get from here to there without getting in a car and driving there. And there is a trolley, the, the gray line and the red line of, the, of our tourist trolley that you pay to get on, drops people off at all the locations every day. I'm the vice president of the River Arts District right now, which is the 300 artist community that's down here. And the city and the law enforcement and uh, visitors bureau, all are very supportive of the River Arts District. They don't give us money, but they are repairing all of our streets right now to make it more conducive to traveling and make the River Arts District a much more accessible area for tourists. I personally run a business in town, uh, Asheville by foot walking tours, and I direct people to come down here. My tour is in town, it's around the historic district, architecture, personalities, what have you. But I direct people down here and tell them how to get here, where to get the trolley and stuff like that. Well, my wife and I, when we first got together, uh, our first summer together, we drove the Blue Ridge Parkway. We lived in Connecticut and got a flat tire on the Blue Ridge Parkway just outside of Asheville and humbled and stumbled down the, the mountain and came into Asheville and we thought it was a cool little city. And the city was mm, half boarded up at the time. It wasn't what it is now. And what we did was we just looked around. And a year later, we got married, rented a house up in the mountains, and came down in Asheville. I made friends with a realtor. She sold us a house. A year later, we sold everything, quit our jobs, and moved down here. And we had been looking for an arts community. We had been to Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, Portland, Maine. We had been to Nova Scotia. We had been to uh, upstate New York and in the Rhinebeck area, looking for an arts community to move to. And we didn't really know Asheville was really an arts community. It was a cool place to be. It had a vibe, it had an energy. It had an aura about it that just drew us here. And that's the story for many people. We can afford to be here, you know, but the young kids coming here mistake Asheville for some kind of freebie. It ain't easy to live here, but it's worth it. <laughs>